Hello everyone, my name is Araceli Garcia and I am the ELA TOSA for secondary schools at Hacienda La Puente Unified. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how you can have your students use Canva to create presentations, flyers, infographics, even videos. So let's jump in. Let me go ahead and this is a PowerPoint or Google Slides presentation that I use that you will also be receiving. Uh, First of all, I did a little workshop in a class. You're always welcome to invite me in to run a workshop, show the students how to use the product, and you can kind of stand in the back, see the behind the scenes, um, and also, you know, see what the students are doing. So definitely, uh, you're welcome to invite me in to be your guest teacher. This is a little bit of what I had students do. Notice that I also use, um, I use Pear Deck to present to the students so that if you do have students uh, who have second language needs, they can use Immersive Reader to translate the slides. All right, what else? So these are the uh, targets that we have for a one period class. I just recently did this little workshop in a seventh grade class and the kids did great. They were able to hit all of the targets and even publish their flyer onto Padlet. Uh, let me go ahead and start here. So the way I walk students through this is first I had them think about uh, the scenario so that they already had in mind the product that they're going to want to make a flyer for. So the topic is think of a snack, think of a food. I told them, you know, you're only going to be there for about a week. So something that you would love to eat um, that maybe brings you some calm or makes you happy, right? And so kids came up with some great things. And so I had them kind of really brainstorm, got a lot of talking, a lot of discussion. Right. Once they did that, I went ahead and showed them this short video to show them just an overview of what Canva is. And you can take a look at that on your own. And we went ahead and we explored the site. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you over to the site, show you what's on there and then what you can do next. So again, you can show uh, use this video as a lesson for your own class. Um, so here's Canva. So a couple of things about Canva. All teachers, educators in HLP USD do have a free account. It is an education account. So make sure that when you log in that you use your Google school account. So you have the premium features. As you can see here, um, you'll see all kinds of things here. You can just go straight to search. I the way I walk the students through is first I show them projects. Basically, this is where you keep your folders and all of the work that you've done. So you do not have to do um, you don't have to save the work, it saves automatically. So this is some of the projects that I worked on or projects that I showed. You can organize your folders, right? Um, again, so all of your designs, all of your projects would be here. All right, what else? Templates, so let's talk about templates. So again, because I'm an educator, it's gonna give me some education kind of templates. So here are some ready-made lessons. So yes, uh, let's say you wanna talk about the life cycle, you can have them, uh, you can see here, you can have them talk about pronouns. So these are already made, awesome, beautifully made uh, templates, right? Oh, look at that, paragraph hamburger for my ELA teachers. What else? You have, again, by grade, subject. Uh, you can also, here again, because I recently did this assignment with a class, they were looking at food flyers. So here's some ideas. Again, other things, all kinds, even the new updates. Um, if you're tired of using the Google Slides for your presentations, you can go here, create presentations, right? Um, for many uh, teachers, they really like the idea of having students create infographics. So the, again, the template's already there and all their students are doing is changing, adding the text. So this is a great, looks very professional. Um, students can make class posters, right? Again, you can make worksheets for your students. Look at that. Just so many awesome, awesome things here. Yes, they can collaborate on here and students can set it up so that they're sharing. I'll show you how to do that with a peer um, here for your maybe your older students. You can have them start working on, on a resume, right? Sometimes I like to do fake resumes. I tell them, OK, pretend you're going to work at whatever, right? Uh, Best Buy. What will be your skills? Again, flyers. Classroom newsletter would be a great project for students to do, especially if they're going to collaborate, right? So all kinds of brainstorming. Again, the students can work together to brainstorm an idea, or you can show this and do it together as a class. So lots of cool things to use. Okay, I'm going to go back home here. And uh, the easiest place to go is to your search button here. I'm going to make sure I'm on templates. And so notice how I said, uh, let's do a food flyer. So I had my students 
could choose a flyer here. So some of them, right, um, whatever the food item was. And so what I told them to do is I said, okay, you're gonna take a food flyer. So let's just find one that, that we like. So let's say I do this one. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to customize the template. So this is what I have students do, customize the template. Uh, again, notice how it's kind of small here to work. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger so I can work on it and manipulate some things. Now, um, because I wanna see the before and after, what I have students do is they're gonna take this template and then I'm gonna duplicate it. So now I have two of the same copies. Now on the second one is the one I'm gonna ask them to make changes. So I'm gonna tell them, okay, I want you to change this wording right so i'm going to erase this and i'm going to move this up and maybe i'm going to say okay maybe it's going to be you know spicy um you know snacks right so a lot of students kind of like those hot, spicy hot cheetos right so maybe uh, they have a new snack that they're going to promote right and notice again it's very kind of user friendly kids picked it up really fast it even helps you center things and so forth now i did tell them gave them some directions i said i want them i'm going to go back here this is what the task was i said all right um and again i had some tech issues the other day and i was only giving verbal directions um and the kids just picked it up really fast because they're so used to using technology so i told them you're going to make a duplicate then you're going to decide what to advertise a favorite snack or favorite food I told them you need a new catchy title for the flyer. I said, I wanted three text boxes, three, right? I wanted three new images. I want the flyer to have some animation and somewhere on there, I want their name. Um, things that they can include in the flyer was of course, a description of the food, maybe uh, the cost, maybe where I could buy it, right? Um, so the kids had a lot of fun with that. And again, uh, depending on the ages of your students, you can use Padlet. I'll show you what they did with Padlet or you can create just an Excel sheet and they can upload their link there just so that they have an audience and other students can see that. All right, so here I am again. Um, if I wanted to change the picture, I can go here to elements. So I go here, I get rid of the picture and let's say, you know, I want, okay, I'm gonna search for spicy snacks. Let's see what comes up with. So it's gonna give me different kind of spicy snacks here, right? So I can look at all of these and whatever I like. So maybe I like spicy chips. All right, we're gonna do that. And then I can move it around, right? Again, maybe I want uh, more visuals. So I'm gonna have this one, all right? And I can again, and kids know how to do this. They've been doing this for a long time on their own you know, Instagram and so forth, right? Uh, and so they could do that. Um, one of the questions somebody asked actually yesterday was, okay, let's say I want this picture here, right? or I want a video. Um, sometimes some pictures have a background that we don't want, right? And so, you know, I tell students, so see here that has that background. So what I tell students to do instead is to put spicy snack transparent. And sometimes that'll help. So notice there, so now I can take this and there you go, right? and that'll uh, remove that background. Okay, so again, so we have all of that. So I told students, make sure you add a text box somewhere, right? So they can add some text here. They can decide uh, the size of the text. Again, they can move this around. So it takes a little getting used to it. How, it works better if they have a mouse, right? So they can add information, okay? All right. So again, uh, three text boxes is what I said, you know, so they have to think about what's a good visual. All right, so that's kind of the, some of the basics. Now I did say I wanted some animation. So if you click somewhere, not on a word box, but just somewhere like maybe on the background, it'll take you to anim animate and it'll give you some ideas. So here's one, right? Here's another one. So kids can kind of play with that, right? How fast, how slow, where they want it. Um, this is if it's going to be an online flyer, they're going to post it on maybe a social media or Padlet, like I said. All right. So once they have that, and they can even change the speed. Once they have that, so now here's my before, here's my new one, All right? Now I can go to share. Oh, if I click play, they can see the whole thing. So first it'll play the original flyer, right? But then it'll show the one I modified. Okay. All righty. So there's that. Um, they could download it, they could print it, right? So you could do that. 
I can now hit share and a couple of things I could do. I can make sure that you want to have it on anyone with the link if you want it to be published like on a Padlet, right? You can copy the link, like I said, you can download it. Students can share it on a social media, right? Or like I said, you can print it. Um, make sure that they could put, you know, not edit, right? So just view so nobody changes their work. Or if they're collaborating with a the partner, then they can click on uh, edit. And just like Google Slides, they can also just send it to someone, right? So I could e put an email there too. All right, so that's how I would share it. And that's pretty much it. Let me go back here. So elements, they can, of course, you know, if they want to upload a picture from maybe somewhere on their um, desktop, they can do that. Uh, another cool thing is that if it was a presentation, they could add music to their presentation, to a slideshow. So all kinds, they can add videos too, right? And they could add audio too, okay? So again, those are some different things that you can do. Let me go back here. And so this is the, you know, the assignment I gave. And I did tell students, okay, now we're going to go and add your link to uh, Padlet. Let me see if I could get to that Padlet. Oh, there's my, uh, my Excel sheet. Let me get to Padlet really quick. And I'll show you what it looks like on Padlet. If you're not familiar with Padlet, it's a great place to display uh, student work uh, in a digital format. And so I already have an account. You get, teachers get three Padlet walls, if you will. I just purchased it just because I like it so much and I have so much student work. And so here are all the different walls that I have. Okay, and this is the school that did this yesterday, right? And so here I just said, okay, you're gonna upload, you're gonna put your name and you're gonna share that link. So all they had to do is go here. So let's say I'm back here on my flyer, I'm gonna go share, I'm gonna do copy link. And then I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on that plus sign. Notice here's the little, Click so you can add, right? So I'm gonna paste the link there. Make sure you click that uh, arrow. I'm gonna put my name here. And I'm gonna let it load. And you can set Padlet up so that students can write comments. Sometimes I don't want them to write any comments, right, to each other. Depends on how, um, you know, how much uh, you wanna give liberty to your students. And I go right here and then it'll publish it, right? And uh, let's see where it shows up. There it is. Okay. And now anyone who has this Padlet wall can take a look at all of your student work. You can even create a QR code so you can share this with others, right? So here you can do all of these changes. You can give the link to other people so you can share it. Um, you can have a, right? So there's the share, right? So again, you can copy the link. You can get a QR code so that if you do do something like uh, your NPDL showcase, people can walk by, use their phone, they can have access to all of your students' work. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm, you're welcome to invite me to be a guest teacher in your classroom to uh, run this little workshop for you, or you can use this video to help you uh, run this workshop. Thank you so much and good luck to you.